All right, John, thank you. And uh, of course, that is nothing, nothing compared to what is happening in Iceland, a volcano there which continues to erupt. Yeah, and this one's a little bit dangerous. It is great video, but the country's meteorological office says the area is a, is a hot spot southwest of the capital there, Reykjavik, and so authorities have evacuated about 4,000 people who live in a nearby fishing town. They've also closed off the nearby Blue Lagoon geothermal spa. This has been a hot spot for years. Usually it's not an issue, but the activity is such that right now they said get out of there, stay safe. The volcanoes, although beautiful from a distance, are, as we know, deadly. This is Mental Health Week here on Erie News Now, and we're reminding people about the help and services available to anyone who might be struggling with their mental health. An especially hard type of grief to navigate is the loss of an infant or a child, and that's why Leslie Mitchell started Lucy's First Step in the name of the daughter that she lost back in 2011. The organization was especially close to our Emily Matson's heart when she lost her infant daughter, Kayla, five years ago. Now, the nonprofit group provides financial assistance for burials, headstones, and counseling, so a family can focus on the difficult process of grieving the loss of a child. To make memorial donations in Emily's name, you'll find more information on our website. Lucy's First Step plans to we're told start a women's counseling group in Emily's name next year.